Hey everybody, uh, I'm back with the uh, LED music visualization project. Um, while I'm waiting for the last uh, set of lights to get in so that I can mount them in the enclosure, uh, I've been working on uh, the electronics and the Arduino hookups. And uh, I did actually find uh, a place here in town um, that sells exactly what I want uh, to use for the cover. Uh, so instead of that piece of plexiglass that I put the privacy film on, um, I'll have a nice, slick, uh, glo glossy, uh, custom cut piece of uh, translucent plexiglass. So that's going to be nice when that comes in. Um, Let's see, so back to the electronics here, uh, I've taken, what I've got here is an old leftover wall work from uh, one of my old Motorola phones. This will output 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Um, I've uh, spliced on a longer cable, so this will power the Arduino um, and the lights at the same time. And I'm going to have an outside plug. Uh, if you remember from the Christmas Lights project, this was the lit LED ring um, or switch, toggle switch that uh, I hadn't used in that project in the original version. Uh, since I didn't reuse it in the second version, um, I've gone ahead and wired it up uh, to this uh, to this wall work. And, again, also split in the power for the Arduino. So, uh, here we have an Arduino enclosure. And I've made uh, two stereo extensions. These will mount through the enclosure of the wood and be mounted in there. And so you'll only see just that part of it on the outside for plugging the audio input in and uh, if you want doing the pass through this is the audio out um, you can see I just made cut a little spots in the bottom here uh, for them to come out through let me open this case up So this looks like a lot of wiring, but in reality there isn't uh, much to it. Um, so on the bottom is an Arduino uh, Uno R3. And stacked on top of that with the stackable headers um, is the uh, Spectrum Shield from SparkFun. And this header, this header, uh, this header, and this header are what are normally there. I've added this header uh, to allow me to hook up the lights all in the same place. Um, so the first two pins here are power coming from the five volt line on the Arduino uh, on the pass through from the Arduino, and those are uh, soldered together on the other underside of this board. But those two pins both come both go to the five volt power. The second two pins are also connected together and they run to the ground on the Arduino pin. And then the fifth and sixth pins here are tied to uh, the digital pins 13 and 12 and those will be the data pins for the for the light strings. Uh, now I'm excuse me I'm I have two sets of string, or I have a total of four sets of 25 lights. For each one, uh, what I've done, there'll be two, two data lines, one controlling seven columns on the left and one controlling seven columns on the right. So that basically splits it out with the left and right um, stereo channels. Uh, so that's why we have two data lines here, one for each of those sets. 
Now, if you'll remember, I'm doing 14 columns uh, by seven rows down worth of lights, and that's obviously that's not 100, that's uh, 98. So I have two extra lights. Well, what I've done is for each side, I've spli I will have spliced the two sets of strings together. So that's a total of four light strings, um, but in two different circuits. And to do that, I just clipped the last light off of one of the strings and spliced in the second string. Now, the nice thing about that is that I didn't have to figure out how they terminated the string uh, because it has the correct termination on the spliced in on the second spliced in set of lights. Uh, so anyway, um, back to this. This ribbon cable uh, that I've got on here, which is connected to the first set of headers coming through, pass through from the Arduino, is uh, going to be um, that's going to be connected to this little 4x4 uh, keypad that I had, which will allow me to, you know, put the project into different modes, and I can say, okay, well, I want mode 1, and I want it this bright, or this bright, or this bright, and I want mode 2, or whatever. Uh, I just thought that would be a nice little addition to the project. Um, so that requires uh, 8 for this particular keypad. That requires uh, 8 pens. I need to go look at it, but I believe you'll notice that I have all, uh, what do I have here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I have 12 pins connected there, and that includes the transmit and receive pins. Now, I don't actually need those, I only need 8 of these, um, but it was easier because I already had part of this soldered up from a different project to just go ahead and use it this way, and I just won't use the wires from the ribbon cable that I don't need. Uh, anyway, that's uh, where we are at this point. Oh, uh, I am also looking into possibly building an audio amplifier and mounting speakers inside of the project. Um, I've picked up a couple of speakers here, but I've also got an old um, amplified set of speakers here that also have uh, their own little subwoofer so I might just go ahead and use those and the nice thing about that is it already has the plug so I can just plug this into the output uh, from the spectrum board and it's all ready to go anyway we will uh, talk to you later